Hello YouTube, uh, prepare for a big long rant where I explain where I've been for the last eight years since that Patreon video and why. Uh, so the Patreon video, that, uh, you know, maybe naively on my part was a test to see if I could quit my day job and do YouTube full time. And despite the many generous uh, personal contributions that people had committed to, unfortunately, the answer to that was no. Now, if you're still subscribed to the Patreon, uh, wow, you know, I'm very grateful to you. I had not even had the guts to look at that for years, and I just logged in uh, a couple of weeks ago and saw that so many people were still committed to uh donating on the condition that I created a video. So for those of you who didn't uh, subscribe to the Patreon, uh, no one was ever charged anything. Uh, I, I made an agreement, we made an agreement that if I didn't make a video, I, you didn't get charged. It was a charge per video. And I never made the video, so no one ever got charged. Now. I tried to reactivate that uh, Patreon because it got deactivated since I didn't agree to some license agreement or something. And when I tried to reactivate it, it uh, changed the subscription model to monthly payments, uh, which is unacceptable. Uh, that's, that's not what you agreed to. It's not what I agreed to. Uh, so I tried to republish it, send you a message that I was going to be making this video, and then unpublish it. So, you know, I hope you got that in your email, and if you didn't, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the, uh, the answer was no, I, I wouldn't be able to do this full-time, uh, you know, and have a, a modicum of a chance of supporting myself. Uh, so I needed to turn back to my career in computer science. And so then I would have a chance of possibly retiring. Uh, and so the, the path that I saw for that was to join one of the Magnificent Seven, uh, companies. Uh, and if you don't know what these are, you can Google it and it'll, it'll be pretty obvious which ones I'm talking about. Uh, the problem is joining these companies is extremely difficult. The, the interview process is insane. Uh, it, it, is, it is just one of the craziest things. Uh, and if you've ever gone through it, then you know uh, it, it's a very difficult interview. And I had to do it, I believe, four times before I got in. Uh, but I did. I did get in. And, but then, uh, you know, it turns out that it's an insane interview because it's also an insane job. So I've also been now uh, calibrating to this job. And the whole goal of this was if I didn't have to be studying for this interview whenever I wasn't working at a startup, uh, then in my evenings and my weekends, I would finally be able to work on YouTube again because it is really a passion for me. When I uh, you know, pitched to one of my friends that I wanted to do the YouTube thing full time, he thought I was crazy because I have a PhD in computer science, so what am I doing trying to be on YouTube all the time? But I just have a passion for uh, speaking about philosophy and evidentialism in particular. I, I think that it's still very relevant. I think that um, religion still plays a very central role in society right now. And I also think that the rise of artificial intelligence really necessitates us to think very seriously about evidence and you know what we believe to be true and why, especially when things can be fabricated. Uh, so easily, and I and I think that's a really important topic to have some discussion about and some deep thought about. So these are reasons why I I think the the channel could be as relevant as ever. 
so why am I making this video? I'm making this video because four months ago, after a lot of hassle, I became a YouTube partner. And I had never been a YouTube partner. Uh, there were a lot of reasons for that, but a big one was that I didn't want ads on my videos. I felt like ads are, you know, it's a terrible viewing experience. Uh, personally, I think that's the case. But uh, over the years, YouTube started using ads for partners. And yeah, so I didn't become a partner because I didn't want ads to be put on my videos. That was, that was a big reason. But then uh, people started putting ads on their videos. And as soon as this became a big common thing, I got a YouTube premium account. And I've never looked back. I've always had that because I hate the ads. But that caused me to have a blind spot to the fact that YouTube had slowly started not just putting ads on partner videos, they started putting them on all videos, including my videos. And it took me way too long to realize this. And so here they are making ad revenue on my videos, putting ads that I didn't want on my videos, and I'm not making any money from it, which that's absurd. And also, by becoming a partner, I'm able to control the ads a little bit and make sure that at least there are no mid-roll ads on my videos. There's no, I hate those the most, like the ones that happen in the middle of the video, I turn those off. The, the partner thing was like, oh, what? You're gonna do that? You're gonna make less money? And like, I don't care. I hate that. I hate that in the middle of video. So I minimize the ads as much as I can. And now I am actually going to be getting revenue from the ads. Uh, not much. Even though it's been activated for four months, I have yet to receive a single payout. But that's fine. That's, it's, it's not what it's about. The money is not what this channel is about. It's about the message and helping people uh, who have gone through a similar experience as me. Uh, that type of thing, or people who want to learn. Uh, so, but the thing is, if you're a partner, you have to be making videos or they'll take the partnership away. And because it was such a pain to become a partner, it, it took a couple or like several months before the four months ago to become the partner. I don't want to lose it. So I'm making this video. And, uh, also, I, I do plan on making a video for the series, and I have more time to do that. Another reason why I wasn't making videos for the series was because video software for motion graphics is crap. Honestly, in my opinion, or it was crap. Uh, I hate Adobe After Effects. I have tried many times to get into it, and I just think that interface is the weirdest, stupidest pile of crap. I hate After Effects. But this new thing, DaVinci Resolve, has come out. It looks like it can do what I want, uh, and it doesn't require a subscription, which is crazy. Uh, so that's a possibility. I, I am trying to make time to make the next video in the series now. And I'm very, I've become very serious about this in the last couple of weeks. But if I don't make that video in time for YouTube to threaten to take the partnership away again, well, you might be seeing another video like this. Maybe I'll make a video about how much I hate the phrase like and subscribe. Maybe I'll make a video about some random philosophical topic. I'm not sure. And it'll be this talking head type of thing, like my really old videos. You can, com you can go back and compare now. The old videos when I was super young and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and a college student, and now I'm this old, jaded, middle-aged man. They, that'll be fun. Now you can do that. Uh, but anyhow, it's nice to be talking to you again, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a mainline series video now. We'll see. 
I know I have uh, not come through in the past. I've, you know, life happens. But anyhow, it, 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 it's great to see y'all again.